What's up, YouTube? We are back, and today, I'm going to a video on how to finish the Set 2 collection. Subscribe so you don't miss any future content, future gameplay. I want to post gameplay bad. Comment down below how many cards you have out of this program, and how hard it is, or how easy. Today, I'm going to show you how to get every single one of these cards, locationally, where they are. I'm talking about non-sellable cards only. If you want to go in here, if you're rich like me, let's look at the stub count real quick. Actually, let's do that. Let's look at the cards first. Look at the cards. Ba-bam! David Wright. <sighs> Probably the worst of the three. Insane stats, though. Stats? Might be the best of the three, but we know he's probably not going to play like the best. Hammer and Hank. This guy plays well for me in BR. I think he's probably going to be tied for first choice with him. He needs no introduction. Randy Johnson. Lefty hitters, uh, they're not usable in this game anymore because of this guy right here. So that, that's fun. I, I'm enjoying myself a lot. Uh, how many knuckles is he breaking on the lefty card hitters? Crazy. But if you want to get these guys, you need 160 cards. Tell them about Big Poppy. Already got him. The Goose. He's here to play. These guys are easy to get. 160 is easy to get as well. We're going to go over that right now in this video. So the first place to get these cards, look away. It's Team Affinity. <whistles> now, set one collection. For season one, I did these four Team, uh, team Affinities right here. These four divisions. Did pretty good on the central. This time, I slacked a little bit. However... I did a good bit of these team affinities. Now, don't complete these all the way unless you're a psychomaniac that has, I don't know, you're hiding under beds or something, like you're a monster, you're living in a cave. Like, it's hard to do all these. It's time consuming. It sucks. Now, one thing I want to point out here there's, I want to say there's 15 cards per division you can get towards the set two collection. And that's 90 cards total throughout all six of these divisions right here. 90 cards. That's more than halfway towards Randy Johnson. Now look at this. I'm only, I'm 90% on this right here. But if I was going to something like 75% over here, I'm 75% on this. There's one guy right here that I'm, there's one pack right here that I'm a little bit far away from. And then there's only two other ones. So as you go, you get less and less uh, set collection rewards. As you start the program is where you really start to see these rewards start picking up like 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. So you wanna get at least halfway in all these programs because then you're gonna get a good bit of these set collection rewards. Easy way to do that. Let's look at my stub count now. 2.5 mil. <sighs> I tried pulling the GOAT, Joe Maurer. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen, so I'm gonna have to start using that stub count. Uh, that's why the stub count's a little bit lower than usual, but 2.5 mil. Got a bunch of investments too, so probably gonna post an investment video soon, so stay tuned. But you wanna use those stubs to finish some of these team affinities as you need. You wanna go in here and do the exchanges right here. You want to do these exchanges because they give you a bunch of team affinity points towards the program and you're basically exchanging it for set collection rewards. Not too expensive either if you get some cards at quick sell. Uh, it couldn't really be that much easier. And especially you might have a bunch of guys in your binder that you can real quick go in and just quick sell all these. You, don't, you might not even have to spend any stubs is what I'm saying and you'll be able to get some of these rewards. So team affinity right there, 90 non-sellable cards that are waiting to be locked in towards that collection. Now we go to programs. We got Tops Now program in May. May Tops Now program. As you can, this program, Team Affinity might make you um, cry yourself to sleep, but May Tops Now could not be that much easier. May Tops Now, come in here, do some moments. Look at these moments. Couldn't really be that much. Oh, that kind of three, three innings, don't give up one hit. That's gonna suck. But these moments really couldn't be that much easier. Not too time consuming. And there's usually a thousand parallel XP with the new players. And there's another one with the flashbacks for captain. This time it's innings. That's fine. The innings is going to be a little bit longer. But the point of this is you get 44 cards that are non-sellable as you go. 44 non-sellable cards. Add these 44 cards to the 90 you already have from Team Affinity. And you're already at 134. That's basically Big Poppy. You already got Goose. Now you got Big Poppy. Just from Team Affinity and Tops now. Another program. May Monthly Awards Player of the Month. There's 20 cards in here. All non-sellable. Now, honestly, I haven't even started this program because guess what? Heron Judge sucks, dude. I don't feel like using the Statue of Liberty at the plate. His strike zone is the size of like the the depth of the Grand Canyon. Like, I can't use him. I don't. I, I hate it. it. It makes me very upset. Evan Phillips, pretty nasty pitch mix that could be useful. Some of these guys, though, like I'm not sure if I'm going to be using many of these cards. Um, so I might not even. I mean, b besides the collection. I'm probably gonna do it just to finish my collection. Now, easiest way to do this, you have the exchange from the guys you already did from the May Tops Now program. 
you get to exchange some of these guys right here. That's the set one, actually. The collection is gonna be the tops now, guys, right here. You're gonna wanna finish this collection up. You'll get 10 there, you'll get 15 points. Then you can exchange some set one players. You already have 30 points. That'll already be like 10 free, six, seven, eight, 10 free players right there. Then you do the moments. Another, look at this. These moments are like tops now, uh, tops now moments. They're pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, three, uh, three batters, one inning. Who's pitching? But these moments couldn't be really that much easier. Missions, parallel XP. I finished the monthly awards last season. Wasn't that hard. Can do it again for another 20 cards right there. Now we got two programs right here. These two programs are pretty toxic. Uh, I haven't even finished. I wonder if I didn't even start. Kaiju. Kaiju takes a pretty long time. But each one of these right here, Kaiju and Incognito, give you 12 each, non-sellable. So that's another 24 cards right there. You'll already have the set to collection pack if you finish these up. These ones take a little bit of time. Incognito is the one I haven't even started, but all of these cards right here, another 12 non-sellable cards, I believe. Now the set two XP reward path is another way to get some more cards. These cards, a lot of these are sellable, but as you go along the way, you'll get four non-sellable cards right there. That's four more guys towards the collection. And that's just from playing the game. Couldn't wait to be that much easier. The ranked program, the ranked program gives you, gives you another four non-sellable cards. Uh, <laughs> Just new season, so we got pennant race reward right there. It's set two, non-sellable, another non-sellable. And then as you go, you get one of these guys right here. It's not Nolan Ryan, uh, but you get a non-sellable one of these boys right here. Play some co-op. Play some co-op with a buddy for non-sellable cards. BR. BR is a very good way to get one, one non-sellable card. If you want to rip your brains out, you want to rip your, <laughs> rip your brain. If you want to rip your hair out, uh, just for one card, you're kind of insane. Because if you get to 100, then you get a set two card right here. Non-sellable. But I mean, that seems like a lot of work just for one card. At that point, buy somebody non-sellable. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cards non-sellable in the game right now. You should easily, easily be able to be finishing this set two collection right here if you do those programs. Like I said, with the May monthly awards program, really not too much of an excuse to not be having this program at 160 if you've done a good job on Team Infinity, if you've done the exchanges in Team Infinity, not that difficult. So that's my video on how to do the set two collection fast. Let me know what you guys think down below. Who are you picking out of that pack? I'm curious. Thanks for watching and subscribe, baby. Let's go.